which he is also has a problem I already given to you in some exam. There is a lightweight and also dead weight. So lightweight is something like a, a weight of the ship itself. Something like this this car cargo truck. The weight of this cargo truck is we can say this is a lightweight of the car truck without any cargo. Same meaning to the ship. When the ship is delivered, newly delivered from the shipyards, we can you can think about this is a lightweight. The whole new new ship. And that is made of usually of her steel's body and also equipment. Equipment means something like a engine, boiler, and this kind of electricity, cabling, lighting bulb, and, and, and also piping for steam, piping for steam. So when the building is newly built, that is similar case. We can say this is lightweight. The equipment and, and host okay. And this is the distribution along the length of the ship. You need to calculate this calculation when you will be the ship designer. And this is a high level of weight in the end of the ship. This is the end of the ship, front of the ship, because there is an engine. And then because of engine is one of the main equipment, and the others should be a distribution of weight along the length is a steel plate and frame. And then see here is a loaded displacement. The full weight of the ship is made of a lightweight of the ship plus a dead weight of the ship. This is a, we can say the cargo weight. So dead weight is basically the cargo weight. So we call this is payload, but also there is some more additional small items, but there is a oil and fresh water, operational liquid in machinery, and then crew uh, carriers. And in the total, the displays is made, made of lightweight and dead weight. And bulwark is uh, something like uh, these area where the, there is a very uh, curved shape of, in front of the ship. So there is a curved shape. We call this is a bulwark area. And this one is needed for protecting the ship from the waves coming. And the sea is rough. The block is protecting the ship from coming from the and there are two types, vertical type, straight, and then slanted type is more curved. Right. Yes, sir. No? Maybe we have these two types of noise more uh, strong at waves. Aha, strong at waves. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 we, we cannot say strong or weak. Right? It, it, it is uh, pros and cons. Each type has an uh, advantage and disadvantage. When, when, say, tsunami, you heard about tsunami. Tsunami is a very big wave coming to. There was a disaster in Japan 10 years ago, right? Big, big wave, big. But when you see that tsunami wave in the uh, open water, say far away from the land, you cannot find there is a wave. Because this is big, so the length is also big. So whole water is going up. So when you swimming at that place, your body should be coming together with a wave, big area of water, so that you cannot find where is the wave. 
So it's a, a, a kind of if the ship size is big enough, then the the ship may uh, may be affected by the wave. But if the ship is small, small, similar to my body, then there is no no effect coming from the big wave because it's too big, too big. Now, vertical time is, there is also curved shape, but also this one, this one is vertical, yes. Slant time is, there is a, still there's a curve. Right? Then if you are coming with the uh, wave, then the wave can be divided by more with uh, this curve shape, but also the water may give you back the more force to the, to the to the ship in this case. So that water is divided into more wide. So then no water is coming into the ship. But the shock shock coming from the water to the ship is higher in this case. So more splash is coming. More splash. This one may be going into the wave a little bit more than this. So that water is going up to the deck more, more, but the shock is less. So depending on the situation and purpose or what is the situation and also what is the cargo inside or passenger inside, you can choose to advantage and this right. okay. no. Let me move on to the next speaker.